SNES Drunk. Hey, welcome back to SNES Drunk Play as Star Fox. We are headed into Fortuna, also known as one of my least favorite levels in this whole friggin' game. It's really... Hey, there's a little sparkle that shot across the screen. How about that? Um, I just do not like this this level. It's first of all, it's a, it's a um, planet surface level, which are my least favorite of this game. And yeah, it's it's huge creatures who live on Fortuna. This, this level is just goofy as hell. And the music is goofy. Everything looks goofy. The colors are goofy. You got stuff sprouting out from the ground. Again, it's it's kind of a clever way to hide the fact that they can't really have too much detail in the background. It's like, well, what if we just have stuff come up from the ground and do it that way? And here are... Uh, you need to help. Whatever. Those dragonflies, I think, behave the same way as the stingrays in uh, Sector Y on the other, in the medium difficulty path. Where you have to just keep, I mean, not not, not the same way, but they, they're similar. Where you just have to keep hitting them or else they'll eventually just kind of collide with you. You have to get them out of the way. So I think, yeah, they're more like the squids in that level. You just have to kind of keep hitting them. And they'll move. Yeah, there's all sorts of weird shit going on in this level. Look out. I mean, I do like the idea. It, it's definitely different than uh, any other level. Oh, and you'll notice my ship is a little bit closer to the comp to the camera there, which you know it obscures your uh, vision for a bit. But as you can see right now, you got these fish jumping up right in front of me. You have to be back a bit further because it gives you that extra space, that extra split second to react as stuff pops up right in front of you. It's one of the main reasons I don't like this level is because it relies a lot on doing collision damage instead of, you know, like laser fire or any of that stuff. And here's Mr. Puff the Magic Dragon here, Sea Serpent, whatever. And he can actually make his head go boom like that and pick up a shield, which you will need because this part right here. Just get as far past it as you can, because these things pop up out of nowhere, they shoot fireballs at you, they show no remorse. Yep, there you go. And they, they are on each side. Just, yeah, just boost your the way out of there. Looks like I made it. And this is kind of a trap. But I made it. Whew, that was close. Wow, okay, that was stupid. Yeah, these things you just shoot once and they go away. One of these days, Slippy. Pow, right to the kisser. Straight to the moon. <coughs> Come on, be over water section. There's another check, yeah, here we go. There's another checkpoint at the, after the water section. And there we go. The hardest part of the level is done. And now we're back to stuff growing out of the ground. And there is, I believe, another... Uh, whoa, look out. See my... Oh, Jesus. My L and R buttons just aren't responding the way I'd like them to. And I just missed that ring. Yeah, if you need another power-up for your weapon, it's right on the right there. We just passed it. There's a ring that I need, and I missed it. Because, um... Kind of getting burnt out a bit. <laughs> I've been playing this game for a while. And now we have the most ridiculous boss in the game so far. It is a two-headed bird-like creature that swings its head into you. There's no avoiding that. I don't think I've ever not gotten hit by his head at the beginning there. You just basically just shoot his tail and make his tail shrink. And he lays eggs that birds fly out of and then you shoot his heads until they go back into his body, kind of like a turtle, and that will make him vulnerable. And you're able to hit him. Look out, and then he'll try and freaking run into you. 
Yeah, you basically need to get low to the ground and shoot his tail to make it shrink, which causes him to turn around, and that's when you open fire on his face. Faces. There we go. This t can take a while. Like, I've, I've had so much trouble with this boss in the past. But, yeah, I, ch I don't mind using bombs against them. There we go. Something hit me there. I couldn't see what it was. Maybe it was this fireball there, but I got him. <sighs> I do not like that level. It is not fun for me, but I got past it. And I think everybody's still at 100%, which is unusual for this point of the game for me doing the, the hard difficulty path, but... And we rocket off to what is next. I think it's... I think it's Sector Z. Yeah, at this point, I don't even care about percentages. <clears throat> sector Z, which, ha and once again, pretty tough level that has one section in particular that is freaking impossible not to, like, just get absolutely hammered, hit, maybe lose a life. And then the level after this is even worse. Your team is doing well, Fox. I hope you're taking good care of my R-Wings. Go for Macbeth. See, here's what I'm talking about right here. I think if you, yeah, see, I almost, I let that guy on the right go, that singular ship go, and as a result, right there, Slippy gets, gets uh, in trouble, and he's got somebody chasing him. Now, the, the natural conclusion, you'd think, like, well, maybe if I hit all... If I managed to hit all of the ships there at the beginning, that there wouldn't be one to get past me and chase Slippy. But I found out that no, it doesn't matter. If, even if you get all of them, Slippy, it's it's like a pre-recorded thing. You will still, he will still need help. It's kind of annoying because that would be kind of cool. Like you can prevent those guys from needing help by getting rid of the guys to begin with. And, uh, yeah, that would be kind of a clever idea, but that's not how it works. Anyway, yeah, these things are clear, so they're a little bit harder to see. But thankfully, this section is pretty forgiving. God, he needs, needs help again. I'm just going <sighs> to... Get out of my way, Slippy. Get out of my way. These guys give up rings. There's plasma balls coming out of out of the walls here. You're coming out of the walls, man. Should be coming up on the the part that I hate here any any second now. Oh, here we go. Give me an S. Give me two X's. What's that spell? Six. I think. I don't know. Here we got a shield, a helpful shield. And remember to slam on the brakes as soon as you get it because there's something immediately in your path right after you get it. And here is the checkpoint, and here is the worst part. This shit just flies up from beneath you, from on top of you. There's no predicting the patterns. You just have to fucking fly through this shit and get through it as fast as you can. There's no rhyme or reason, there's no pattern recognition. You just fucking fly through it and take damage and hope to God that you got that shield. And here it comes again, just fucking... If you try and go around it on the sides, you end up getting uh, those plasma firing things, like right in your face, firing seven or eight plasma balls like directly at you. So that really doesn't work either. But I made it. I made it all the way through and I can ignore all this and go all the way over here to the side. And that shit matters because it will automatically <laughs> Yep. It'll automatically teleport you right to the front door. Thank you for doing that. <sighs> okay. And this boss is gonna be very familiar to people because it is the exact same boss as the Space Armada from the easy path. Dodge that underneath. Hopefully there will be a few more things. Yep, here we go. That works. Thank you. Oh, forgot to get that one. Oh, I guess I didn't need that one. Shoot these open. 
And yep, we got the same thing here. Now, when I talked about the um, the Space Armada Energy Core boss, I was wrong. When you, what I was actually thinking about was was the, oh shit. What I was actually thinking about was this. Look out! Look out! What's hitting me? Jesus. I was thinking about this boss because the ones on the the easy path, the modules on the side there, the power modules blow up and they don't come back. I was under the impression that they came back. This is the one where they come back. Look out. Oh, are you fucking serious? I got wing damage from that? Oh my god. Ugh. Well, anyway, this is the one where the, where the beams come back. Like, you only get like a certain amount of time, but I managed to get it done, even with wing damage, and now I'm really I'm really fucked. I liked my chances going into Macbeth with full power, but this is not good. Not going to be a good time next episode. I can guarantee you that. Oh, boy. Well, once again, thanks for watching. Um, this is Snestrunk saying, have a great rest of your day.